Hey, what's up, guys? So welcome to Terrace at Preston in Cadence by Lennar. Now, if you're looking for a two-story home close to 3,000 square feet with a next-gen suite, well, don't go anywhere, guys, because we are going to be touring the Diana floor plan. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, if this is your very first time tuning in, my name is Dale Labella with eXp Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Las Vegas. Now what we do on my channel is we go over all the new construction communities here in Las Vegas. So if this is something you're interested in, if you're looking to move to Las Vegas or you like looking at new home build tours, do me a favor guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification button. That way you stay up to date with all the newest communities here in Las Vegas. So today is September 16, 2024, and we are here at Terrace at Preston in Cadence by Lennar. Now, um, if you're unfamiliar with this area, the Cadence area, we're about 25, 30 minutes east of the Las Vegas airport and strip. Cadence is a nice master plan community. So the amenities are going to include parks, trails, playgrounds, splash pads, and they have an Olympic sized pool. So it's great for families. Lennar, this whole Preston at Cadence, there's like six different communities, Lennar communities at Preston. But today we're going to be going over the terrace at Preston community. So I will have the floor plans on the screen for you guys. So they have three different floor plans here. They have the Elliot, the Nora, and the Diana, all ranging from about 2,400 square feet to close to 3,000 square feet with the base prices ranging from 531 990 all the way to 577 990 Now, um, guys, when you see the prices of those homes, those base prices, just know the only upgrades that you can do for these homes is you could upgrade the backsplash, the countertop, the flooring, the cabinets. I believe you could add in like cabinets in different parts of the home. Right now for the Elliott floor plan, Base price is 531. They have some quick move-ins for 570, 573. The Nora 556, they have uh, some quick move-ins for 595. And then Diana 577, 990, they have a quick move-in at 634, okay? And just know that prices are subject to change. Again, today is September 16, 2024. Couple things about the community, you guys. The HOA is $103 a month. So that's gonna include all the amenities out here that I mentioned about, you know, the pools, the splash pads and all that. Another cool thing actually is this Lenar community internet is included that doesn't happen too often okay that's about it let's get started with the tour all right welcome everyone welcome to the diana floor plan now the diana floor plan is going to be the largest out of the three models for the terrence community at preston at cadence now uh this is going to be 2918 square feet four bedroom three bath and this includes a uh next gen suite okay so uh, the four bedrooms includes the next gen suite now um, the base price as of today is 577,990. They do have a uh, quick move in right now that's priced at 634. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can see here, this one has like the pretty nice elevation. It has the stacked um, stacked brick exterior. All right. Now we won't be able to get into the garage, but as far as the garage is concerned, it will come unfinished. That means it won't be painted on the inside. Um, it also have a water softener loop, I believe set up for a water softener as well as a uh, EV charger too. So if you wanna have an EV charger set up, if you have like a Tesla or electric vehicle. Well, yeah, so as we make our way to the front, um, you kind of walk towards the side of the house here. Okay, so here, this is gonna be the door to the next gen suite. So again, what a next gen suite is, it's like a separate living area inside the house. So it has its own entry door, uh, but it pretty much has everything that you could access in the main house, except for like a uh, like a stove, um, stove top, okay? So it has like a bedroom, has a little living room, it has a um, walk-in closet, okay? Half kitchen, so it has like a refrigerator and microwave. So it's great. Next gen suites are great if you live with your in-laws or if you have roommates or 
if you know if you plan on having guests stay over and you want to give them their own separate space uh next gen suites are ideal for that okay so welcome in so this is what you see as soon as you walk through the front door you're gonna have your stairs right over here that goes to the second floor okay living room dining room and kitchen so open layout now you have nine foot ceilings on the first floor and the second floor as well okay you have these two really large windows and that slider allowing for natural light um you also have this window right over here okay this door is about a six by seven uh door cool so typically with lennar homes the only things that are upgraded when you look at like model homes is it's and the only upgrades that you could actually choose, um, you know, if you want to move into a Lennar home is you could choose your countertop, the cabinets, the flooring, the backsplash. And I think that's about it. Everything else you see is the way it is. No structural upgrades or anything like that. So we have this Calcutta quartz uh, that is optional. The standard quartz doesn't look too bad. Standard comes with quartz, but it doesn't look like that. It doesn't have like the veins. Okay, as far as the cabinets goes, I believe the white cabinets are standard. So if you want this color, it is optional. So you do have the GE appliance package. So as far as like the microwave, the um, oven stove top, the sink right here. So yeah, that's what you see is what you get. Uh, you'll also get the GE refrigerator as well, which is really nice. Okay, it looks like they went ahead and Put this really nice backsplash. If you want backsplash, that is optional. Okay, cool. So it vents outwards. So yeah, this is the, uh, it's nice. You have a single basin sink right here. And then, um, you know, just your standard dishwasher. Here's the backyard. Now, if you want to know what the average lot sizes are, uh, just shoot me a text, give me a call. I can find that out for you. I don't have that information at the moment. But again, if you're curious, any questions, you know, feel free to reach out. So as far as the appliances go, the refrigerator is included. Um, all of these are included. The washer and dryer, typically not included. Okay. Now, uh, as far as the paint is concerned, uh, the paint color is extra white by Sherwin Williams. Um, it's going to be the flat finish all throughout the house, except for the uh, here. You can see here. So this is going to be semi gloss and the wet areas is going to be semi gloss everywhere else. Like right here, it's going to be a flat finish. So remember, like if you have kids, the flat finish gets dirty pretty easily. So the best way to clean up dirt and scuff marks is probably just to repaint over it. If it's a flat finish, if it's um semi-gloss you could clean it easier okay, and, and you're also going to have the uh the flat corner edging so the pantry is going to be right over here okay very spacious pantry and you also have a lot of room right over here This is going to be your powder room. Okay, pedestal sink. Got your standard toilet. Have your nice little window right here. Okay. Now this is going to be the door to the garage, but it is locked. They normally use this for storage space. Okay, cool. So I'll show you guys the next gen suite. So this is just going to be a like a regular door. Now imagine how nice it would be if you had your guests or if you know you're living with your in-laws they could live right here so you they'd have their own bedroom okay pretty good size room too this is prop this is going to be a queen size bed so these are some pretty wide uh drawers right here okay so right here you're gonna have your walk-in closet look at that it also includes with uh the stacked washer and dryer so how convenient is that? Okay. So yeah, they wouldn't even have to use the uh, laundry, uh, the wash and dryer. 
in the main living area of the house. They could just use it right there in their walk-in closet. Okay. So here, this is going to be your full bath. All right, so you got your single sink, your toilet, your walk-in shower. Again, with the showers, there's no there's no configurations. You can't adjust like how you'd like the shower, no shower tub. It's going to come like that. Now, this is the included quartz, okay? So with a lot of the spec homes that they make, again, spec homes is just like the, where they pick out all the options. Sometimes they'll have this type of countertop at the kitchen, but usually all the faucets, they're going to be the same. It's going to be this, uh, it's going to be this color faucet. Okay. And you're going to have the undermount sinks as well. Okay. So this is going to be like your half kitchen area. So. I mean, I know it's not completed just yet, but that microwave is obviously going to be like right over here somewhere. Okay. So you have some cabinets store some food. You also have your refrigerator. See, the only thing you're missing really is just like a, it's like a stove to cook on. But I mean, you could use one of those at the stores where you just plug it in and you could just cook. Okay. Cool. So this is your living area. This is actually a really good size for a next gen suite. Yeah. So, you know, your guests, your family, whoever stays with you, I'm sure they would really appreciate this, this private little area. Okay. They wouldn't have to get into the, uh, the primary house too often. All right, so let's check the second floor. So we got the transfer grills up there. So that helps regulate the airflow. Um, you're gonna have smoke detectors in every bedroom. In the hallways, you're gonna have smoke detectors slash CO2 detectors. Every bedroom is gonna have uh, the pre-wired to the ceiling fan. So you can switch these out and put it for a ceiling fan. Okay, these are the door casings that you can expect in the Lenar homes. Also, these are the baseboards. I want to say that's probably going to be like a three, three inch baseboard. Right. So let's head upstairs. So welcome to the second floor. So here you're gonna have your loft area, really good size loft. You're gonna have your bedroom right in there. You're gonna have another bedroom that way. And then you'll have your primary bedroom right here, okay? You also have your Honeywell thermostat, control of the upstairs temperature. Now guys, if you are interested in new construction and you're thinking about going to a community for your very first time, do me a huge favor, give me a call, shoot me a text. I'd be honored to go with you on your very first visit and um, help you out through the process. But if you're working with a realtor, that's okay too. Just make sure your realtor goes with you on your very first visit. Just don't go by yourself because if you go by yourself and uh, right when you get there, the builder agent, the builder agents can ask for your name, your email, phone number. Once you give that to them, they're going to jot you down in their systems with no realtor. So then, and then uh, once you're in their system, they won't let you have representation down the road. You definitely want representation because the builders look after, builder agents look after the builder's best interest and our realtors look after your best interest. So, you know, we're very familiar with the process. We know when to negotiate. Um, we also have relationships with the builder agents. So, you know, definitely give your, uh, get yourself some representation. Look at this. This is a really nice size walk-in closet. Okay, so this is the bath. Again, with Lennar Homes, um, there's no upgrading the shower configuration. What you see is how it's gonna be. So you have the walk-in shower, you're gonna have the separate tub. Okay. You also have your toilet room. So you have dual sinks. Cool. Yeah, so again, nine foot ceilings here. Now I know because this is a model house, a lot of the doors are like missing. That's intentional, that's just for the model home. So you could just, for example, right here, 
um, you know, cause a lot of, a lot of traffic in these model homes, but here actually this, this is how, this is, this is how it's going to be. There's going to be no door right here. Okay. I know some buyers think that's interesting, but if you like in Vegas, that's, it's pretty standard, pretty normal. All right. So yeah, that's going to be the, so you got, you have your other bedroom over here. Okay. So you're going to have your full bath okay, and you're going to have a door right here. That's going to separate this, um, the toilet and the shower tub. And then right here, you're going to have your washer and dryer. Now the washer and dryer, as you can see, that is optional. Okay. Uh, you do have your smart panel box. Again, this is where you would set up your internet router and your modem. Really good size rooms for sure. Yeah, definitely really good size rooms. Again, if you want to know the dimensions, just uh, let me know. I can figure that out for you. I don't have the dimensions on me right now. Cool, and let's check out the last bedroom. Okay, yeah, see, really good size. Yeah, these, these rooms are definitely spacious, so. Okay. All right, even has a walk-in closet. Cool. Well, yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the Diana floor plan. Um, if you have any questions, curious to know what the incentives are, or uh, if you're just looking for um, help with this new build process, give me a call, shoot me a text. My info is in the description below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Till the very end, I will catch you guys on the next one.